the last stop on our journey is Kenya. Here too, there are said to be healing waters, but we have come to visit an unusual woman who is well known throughout the country and venerated by many people. Mary Sinaida Akatsa. She is a person full of faith and a powerful joy of life, which she passes on to many people. Members of the church she founded wear white and blue gowns. Mary Akatsa says that Jesus himself gave her these colors as a sign, in order that one could identify oneself as a child of God under one faith. Untiringly, this simple woman travels through the country to the people, most of whom live in poverty. Wherever she arrives, she is immediately surrounded by crowds. Like many other third world countries, Kenya suffers from unemployment, crime, drug abuse and prostitution. Mary Akatsa knows the people's sorrows and goes on undeterred, giving comfort and help. Because of her compassion, people lovingly and respectfully call her Mami. Three times a week, she gives healing ceremonies in Kawangware, a slum in Nairobi, with prayers, songs, and preaching. Here, on June the 11th, 1988, an extraordinary event took place, which many newspapers and the TV station CNN reported. The people believed that Jesus Christ had personally appeared before them. A journalist from the magazine Kenya Times was an eyewitness. His report starts a week before the event. On Saturday, June the 4th, 1988, a big bright star was sighted above the skies by worshippers. While we were filming, the unusually bright star could also be seen during the day. During the healing session on June the 11th, 1988, the mysterious event took place, which was observed by hundreds of people. Many were left totally healed. Only a few photos exist. The tall figure of a barefooted, white-robed and bearded man appeared from nowhere and stood in the middle of the crowd. When he appeared, people had no idea what was happening. Many of them fell down. Others began to cry and repent their sins, and continued to do so even after Jesus had disappeared, and we had begun singing new healing songs again. Since that day, hordes of people have been coming to Kawangware, repenting their sins and being healed and saved. But it is not me who heals, it is the power of God that heals through me. It appeared to them the Son of Man had at last fulfilled his promise of coming back to earth. The unknown person who didn't tell his name turned first to Mary Akatsa. 
umepewa kazi ya Mungu kutoka kwa He said, you are an important messenger of God. Keep on preaching, never retreat. Whoever places obstacles in your path will himself be halted. Then the man spoke in Swahili without an accent to the crowd. We are nearing the time for the reign of heaven. But before that, I shall come back and bring a bucket full of blessing for all of you. Before he disappeared as suddenly as he had come, he paced off a path in the direction of the church. Ah, siku hiyo wakati mwenyewe aliingia Jesus said, I have put my garment here at the end of this path, and whoever comes to this place, perhaps with sickness or demons or other problems, should run along this path. When he returns at the end and runs back to Mary, all his problems will vanish, and he will be free. Since that day God speaks to me, I can hear him through my ears, like somebody talking next to me. It is very loud. Before my eyes there appears a sort of screen, and I am told, look there, or there. There is someone in the congregation. Look at him. The message is written on his chest. I can then read all the problems this person has, 